Hello guys, I am so excited to finally share this flip through of my September monthly journal collection. Um, so let's get right into it. We'll start with the journal. Each journal will come with a sari um, ribbon trim tied in a nice little bow on the front. And you can just untie that. It is attached, but you can pull it right out through the back. Each journal will also come with a lovely little bookmark. Um, each bookmark has a different bead on the end, but they are all super cute glass beads. Um, and you just slide this right on the pages and that's the bookmark and we've all got a clear pocket on the front I put a little alteration tag and let's do the flip through I filled these with so much beautiful hand dyed paper I also did some hand stamping on the pages and then I included some vintage pages with different clothing and fashion. I really wanted to show off that style theme that I've got going. Cabbage dyed paper, paper doily, I even dyed some onion skin. Paper is just so luxurious. Got some dyed grid paper dictionary paper, lovely pattern paper that's been tea dyed, envelope, some lace dyed paper. It's super faint so I don't know if you can see it. Good paper, coffee dyed or tea dyed. The center fold is going to be a, a more modern fashion spread. And then we're just working our way back through the journal. Um, each journal does have 30 pages. Um, so that's 60 front and back. If you are a daily journaler, there is so much room to journal. Um, I will be releasing new themes and new journals every month. Um, so you'll have plenty of journaling room. And then I can't remember if I said it, but these will be available on my Patreon. As well as my Etsy shop. Okay, they, uh, the journal placement um, with the fabric will vary a little bit depending on the cut. Um, and I only have six journals available, so if you want one, make sure you sign up. Okay, now on to the ephemera and paper packs. First, we've got this little pocket. Um, it's gonna have a lot of goodies in here. And you can obviously use this pocket in your journals. So we've got lots of paper punches, punched out of dictionary pages, wallpaper, this beautiful scrapbook paper I have with lots of lace love that paper um and then i've got these vintage little i think they're cigarette cards um i think there's german on the back of those also included a few vintage playing cards got that one a dry cleaner card love the beautiful outfits in these and I thought they fit the style theme really really well hand stamped tag 
Tag number two. Um, the pieces in these will be varied from kit to kit. They'll all have the same type of items, but the cigarette cards will be different. Um, they will all have the same playing cards and stamp tags. And then I've got this cute little envelope you can also use for journaling. It's got a ton of beautiful pieces in it. Um, so I stamped out these beautiful wax stamps. I don't know if you can see it. Some ruffles that I uh, machine sewed. These plush tags, I don't know if you can see, but they've got batting in them, so they're super squishy. And then there's some sari trim up at the top. And then just tea dyed paper on the back. These will vary from kit to kit. Um, I didn't have enough of the same fabric. And then I just included two little fabric swatches that will vary from kit to kit. Um, all of these are going to be so awesome for decorating your journal, creating ephemera. The goal is that you will add your own um, supplies, your own junk journal supplies, stickers, paint, etc. and journaling. And then together with what I've sent you, you will have a beautiful monthly journal. Next, we've got these little sewn pouches. Um, these are a little tight, but I love these. There's tracing paper on the front, and then I just stitched all the way around. Um, and then I've made little wallpaper pockets. Um, open those up. I've left all the tails on, but you can definitely trim those off. And then I just sewed a little butterfly on the front as a latch. Also got these beautiful journaling cards. They've got lace on the front stitching. That's a real dried flower that I put in there. And then the back is just blank for journaling. Got a vintage postcard. These are all going to be different. This one's from 1939. Got a guest check. And then these collaged um, faux postcards that I sewed, stamped, and they're backed onto index cards. Um, this one's mostly one sheet, but it is collage, so every postcard will be different. And then I've included a new real French postcard. thought those were beautiful and there's a lot of beautiful fashion in these cards. And then last of all, we have our paper pack. Pull these out. Each kit is gonna have a paper pack. You can use this for making ephemera, cut it up, fold it in there. And then our paper packs each have a doily, some lace scrapbook paper, and the papers are just 6 by 12 samples. Um, same with this one, 6 by 12 sample. Got some um, origami paper, some embossed paper handmade paper that I made a while ago. I included a cut of pattern paper in each kit. I've also included a page out of that Sears and Roebuck book. We've got a dictionary page, 
some hand dyed cabbage paper, cabbage dyed paper, some tea dyed paper, more of that vintage um, encyclopedia paper. I love the outfits in this one. I tried to pick pictures with good representations of vintage clothing. Um, that was definitely the theme. And then there's just a piece of cardstock to help stiffen it, but you can also use this to create awesome ephemera. All right, guys, that is everything in this kit. Um, really hope that you guys love this as much as I enjoyed putting them together. Um, had a lot of fun, love vintage fashion, um, got the journal, we've got all the pieces, 3D pieces, um, thank you so much for watching, I'll see you guys next month.